let's get on the road here for part two i'm gonna tell all of you why i chose the 2021 street bob over the 2021 lowrider s let's roll <laughs> all right and welcome to part two as you just saw we have the awesome new street bob we are riding out here through downtown miami after shooting some video yeah like i said in part one it was really a matter of which bike to get was it going to be the lowrider s the new 2021 lowrider s or was it going to be the new 2021 street bob i test rode them both i honestly absolutely love them both but there were just a few key differences between the bikes that made me pull the trigger for the street bob instead of the lowrider s starting with and most obviously the price the lowrider s is a couple a few thousand dollars more expensive than the street bob for obvious reasons they're both they're the two lightest soft tails that are out there which makes them the two fastest soft tails that are out there because they both have the 114 engine so the power to weight ratio for both bikes is actually pretty amazing the, there's a few key differences like I said the lowrider s has the inverted fork the one thing the one difference the one point that the lowrider s has over the street bob is the inverted forks they uh, they look pretty badass and they help out with handling quite a bit but on every other point to me the street bob was better now you see, I've already done a few things to the Street Bob to get it how I like it. There's not that much else that I'm going to do to this bike. The Lowrider S, however, I would have at least had to do at least everything I've done here. Plus, I would have had to do the... I would have had to have gotten new bars. Probably a new riser because the, the riding position of the Lowrider S sits you a lot more forward. It's a far more aggressive riding position. I like to be upright and I like my hands where they are right now. It's a rider, that's a rider preference thing, honestly. Another reason I chose the Street Bob over the Low Rider S, it's just a little bit lighter. The back tires, uh, it's just a little bit lighter. It makes it a little more nimble, a little more, what's it, what is that block that says? A little more flickable. It really, really does. And the difference between the low rider S and the street bomb in that regard is actually pretty big. The rake on the low rider S is just a little bit bigger, makes it a little bit longer. Not that it's a hard bike to handle, but it is a little bit different than the street bob. And in that sense, I like the street bob a ton better. Another big reason for me that I chose the street bob over the low rider S is honestly is the seat. The stock seat on the Lowrider has a good seat, but it's a single seat for starters, and it doesn't look nearly as cool as this one does. I think the seat looks pretty cool. The bike already comes set up for a passenger. So another thing I would have had to purchase would have been at least a pillion seat. Already comes set up with it. See how easy that was? The fat boy, I could have done that, but the handling on the fat boy was just not even close to what it is on this bike. The handling on this bike, the lean angle on this bike is so freaking good. And I think the mid controls also give it something extra. It makes you able to uh, control them a little bit better, unlike the Lowrider S. Now the look of both bikes, I like the look of both bikes. Uh, the Lowrider S, I still would have to get in the fairing for it. Another reason I chose the Street Bob over the Lowrider S, let's let the puppy go. Ichigo puppies. And I just lost my train of thought. Another reason I love, I like the Street Bob a lot better than the Lowrider S is this right here. The gauge on this is, you know, I never really liked it till I rode a bike with it. It gives you all the information you need. It's small. It's clear. It's got all the information in that tiny little panel. Lowrider S, yeah, it's got the cool analog uh, gauges, but you know, I just really—it's nothing. That's nothing against the Lowrider S. I just really, really like this one. So in a city like Miami, you want your bike to be as nimble and as flickable as possible. So that was, not that the low rider is, isn't, but I found the street bob to be just a little bit more forgiving in that regard. It's just a little bit lighter. The street bob is essentially a raw canvas. It's a bike with personality already. I love the paint job on this thing, by the way. It's a bike with personality, but it's a bike that you can do absolutely anything you want. You can do anything to this bike. And 
I gotta say, I absolutely love it. Taking turns on this thing is way different than the Fob Boy was. The Lowrider S honestly felt, because it's a little bit, tiny bit longer, because I rake it out just a little bit more, because it's just a tad little bit heavier, it did not feel anywhere near as fast. Responsive or you know honestly light as this bike the the riding triangle on this bike the the way your mid control sit with your butt with your hands up high go ahead dude. the way you, the mid control sit with your hands up high just makes it extremely extremely comfortable while at the same time maintains an aggressive riding position I love that you can stand on some uh, on the mid controls. And you know, to me, the mid controls were another big reason why I chose the Street Bubble or the Lowrider S. Or the Soft Tail Front for that matter. What I want you guys to do is comment down below. Tell me what you think of the Street Bob. Would you have rather gotten, would you get a Street Bob over a Lowrider S? Let me know what you think of this Street Bob. Let me know what you think of the Lowrider S. The brakes are amazing on this bike. Oh, sorry. That's another point that the Lowrider S, so the inverted forks were the one the second point that the Lowrider S has over the Street Bob is the dual front brakes. That's a big selling point for the Lowrider. But to me, it wasn't that big a deal. The Street Bob does everything I needed to. All right, so comment down below what you think of the bike. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you rather me kept the little slug? We haven't named this one yet. The name will come. Would you rather me kept the Fat Boy? Tell me, uh, tell me what you think. And trigger, just so you know, trigger fits on this bike just as well as you did on the fat boy. So there's no uh, no issues there. So I gave you guys a quick update on the last video on the CBR 600RR. Today is the same day that I'm shooting this. I'm actually shooting the videos back to back. So let me do that update, same update again real quick. So the giveaway Honda 600RR, it's completely stripped down now. And we're starting to do paint on some of the smaller components like the front and passenger pegs, etc. We already got all the parts in. Uh, there is some stuff that I'm still considering doing, which we will decide a little bit later, but right now, right after I shoot this video, I'm going to go up there and get started on the things like, um, on the parts that I already have, which is, which are quite extensive. We got the grips, we got the gas cap, we got bar ends, we got lights, we got all kinds of stuff, and I'm going to get rolling on those rather, rather quickly. I am going to show every mod we're doing in the CBR, with the exception of the fairing and the seat. The fairing and the seat, which have already been ordered, will not be shown until the bike is revealed, obviously, because I want it to be a surprise. Those are the two things that are really going to give it its final look. If you want to sign up to win the Honda CBR 600RR, you see the banner right here below. Go to patreon.com slash 305rider. All of my patrons on Patreon are automatically entered to win the bike. So go ahead, sign up. You can play as little as one dollar and you're entered to win a brand new bike for free and i'm going to be taking care of the shipping it's going to get serviced before it gets shipped out and i gotta tell you i think it's going to look pretty fucking awesome so let's get to it people comment down below hit the like button sign up for the cbr 600 double r giveaway if you want and with that i'm going to say one final welcome to the channel 2021 street bob and y'all are going to be seeing a lot of this bike a few more mods to do on it i'll be putting those out on video so thank you all for watching hit the like button and those are the reasons i went with the street bob over the low rider s that's it y'all right side.